Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. Now this time, yeah, you saw the unboxing, but this is the Zeus XT 360mm AIO. Right then, so this is the software. Now you can customize it. It's got themes and settings. Of course, it is a software to change the overall animation on the screen. As you can see, there's loads of different types of ones. You can also do custom. You can do ones with just GPU or CPU. You can do ones with uh, usage. It, you can pretty much customize it. You can put your own pictures in it. You can put your own font anything like you see by there i've got mine set by here for welshy tech which has the gpu and cpu temp but also has the usages and then it has a time and of course my logo in the background now as for customization what you do is go here you go to device and then device this one below you can update the rom which means you can download different animations like gifs gifs or however you pronounce it and then theme which is by here now this by here is the actual customization which you will adjust everything you can even put a chart on it which is quite interesting now i haven't actually deep dived into this type of software for a ai over the screen I did it a little bit when it came to the MSI AIO, but I didn't have it for uh, a long time, so I couldn't really actually deep in uh, go deep into the software. Now, I've had a good go of this software, and as far as I can tell, the software is solid. There's no problems with it. Now, yes, there is a bit of a delay between the screen and the software, but it's only a few seconds of a dis uh, of a difference and the way you can actually customize it i think is very good and that's pretty much it for the software okay so this is the eston aio the zeus xt this is the fan speed at 50% You can hear it. 100% fan speed. So, from what you can hear, it sounds like a jet engine. Okay, so is there any noise coming from the pump? Well, let's find out because this pump is only 3-pin PWM controlled, so it is going to 100% at all times. So here is the pump speed noise. And as you can hear, you can't really hear anything, so it's very quiet. Right then, so when it comes to the thermals, I did test it with a 5900X with PBO enabled and I will say the wattage during the test was 192 watts and for Cinebench R23, the idles are 30 Celsius so the max is 78. 
Blender the Classroom, the idlers are 30 Celsius with a max of 75. Blender BMW, the idlers are 30 with a max of 74. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idlers are 30 Celsius with a max of 66 Celsius. Right then, so you heard the noise, you've seen the thermals, and of course you've seen the overall software. Now what I will say is there is a few second delay between the screen and the software but once it's loaded up it's fine there's no issues there the customization you get when you can customize it with your own logo you can put in graphs charts anything you want you can really do really customize it now i do like that aspect the overall price at the moment it's 130 dollars and the original price, I believe, was two hundred, uh, or between two hundred and two hundred and fifty dollars. At that type of price point, no, it's not worth it. But at the price, the current price is at at the moment, I think it's actually good. The the overall aspect of the anime, that part is. It depends on what you're really into aesthetically. Me personally, I like the anime style, but I'm not overly fond of the pinks, the purples, and all that type of stuff. I specifically picked the black because of the accents. Now, the yellow definitely does suit it. The fans, they're very good quality. The bearings are very good. Yes, they are loud. They sound like a jet turbine going off. I'm not overly fond of any AIO coolers, anything that's loud because I got very sensitive hearing, so I'm not very fond of the loudness. But a 50%, it's not bad. It is audible, but you you could live with it. I could live with it certainly. So that's just you know one of them things. One thing I'd probably say is I do not like the length of the USB 2 cable that goes up, goes down to the USB head on your motherboard. It's very short, so I had to tuck it be be between my graphics card down towards that, where it comes to building and stuff, that aesthetic is not gonna look pleasing. I don't care what anyone says, that I didn't like. I wish it would have had a couple, maybe an inch or two more of cable length, and at least then you could have routed at the back. But other than that, it was fine to use. The RGB is good. I like the screen. The screen looks fine. It's an LCD, but at that kind of resolution, it does look very crisp. So obviously that's one good thing. The thermals, it performed well. Uh, the 5900X I got in here personally has brought down some AIOs and coolers to its knees. So it handled it no problem, you know, but obviously when I did the, the testing, the ambient air in the room was at 16 Celsius and it did rise about 2 degrees. So make sure you put that into consideration as well. And of course, when I started testing, the temperature outside did start to rise because we're not in winter anymore. We are in or uh, in spring. So the temperature are going to fluctuate. And of course, that does... Uh, affect the overall thermal compat uh, compatibility of this so make sure you bear that in mind but what i'd like to say is a big thank you to yeston i've bugged them for a while to work with them because i do like their graphics cards the aesthetics primarily i think they look really cool and i thought aio that is definitely something we could work together on and i hope I, well, actually, I pray that maybe if this video does well, they might consider sending me a card. Now, I have had cards off Sapphire, so clearly my my influence when it comes to graphs cards, CPUs, or just my reach primarily on social media does definitely add that. So, and obviously, I've got the website now, so that is something that this is going to be featured on, is the website. If you guys want any inf more information about this AIO, please hit me in the comments section below, because that is what the comments are for. So, yeah. Look, it's a good AIO. I love the aesthetics. I like the screen. The software is very easy to use. It's good, customizable. The price of this particular moment is very good, $130. I think that's a very good price point. If it goes higher than that, then no, it's not right. I wouldn't recommend buying it, but at this current price, it's good to buy right now. So, I have got much more stuff coming. 
and I've got a PC build coming. That's going to be a very expensive PC build, so make sure you subscribe for that. And this is Richard from Welshy Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. Good bye.